Hey everyone, I'm Kyla from VetEngage. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the guiding principles of presentation slide creation. These guiding principles or presentation tactics are proposed by Hearn Lee, who is a strategy and operations manager at Google. So I've summed it up for you to make these principles easily understandable. Let's begin. Tactic number one, the headlines. Hearn states the best headlines fall into one of two categories, action-led and assertive. For example, the iCar is an innovative new product, is passive and uninsightful. Who would ever argue that a new product is not innovative? Now, compare that to $10 billion investment needed for iCar to be the market leader. Is action-led? We need 10 billion. The iCar will capture 47% of the photo BS market by 2035, is an assertive statement. Tactic number two, influence with tone. Let's take an example to understand this. Compare this statement number one with statement number two. Do you spot the difference? These could be the headlines for the exact same slide, except the first one paints a very optimistic picture and focuses on generating confidence. The second one is cautiously optimistic and explicitly calls out that our successes depend on something, that is, custom chips. Now, if you're a decision maker in a company which requires chips, you'd probably go with option number two so you can ask for more resources. That's why this tactic is super sneaky. Tactic number three, do not use animation. Nine times out of 10, we do not have full control over the flow of our presentation. For example, when presenting to senior management, we're often interrupted with questions and comments like, hey, can we back up two slides? Or where did you get that number in the last bullet point? And to answer these questions, we need to be able to quickly jump around our presentation to land on the right slides. And in these instances, having fancy animations works against you since you have to frantically click around to find the right landing spot. Instead of using animation, I believe using meaningful and compelling infographics is a better approach. For this purpose, you can utilize Vengage as it provides a wide array of pre-designed and easily customizable templates for infographics tailored to any industry that you belong to. Using Vengage is super easy. Simply log in, go to the template page, select a template that suits you, edit it in the online template maker, download it in any format you prefer, and it's done. Tactic number four, use pyramid principle. As human beings, we think by default in a linear fashion. First, here's the data. The EV market is 10 times smaller than the AI market. Second, here are the insights. Creating a groundbreaking EV car is financially risky. And finally, here's a conclusion. The Apple car project is not feasible, and we should relocate investment towards AI. Rather than going from data leading to conclusion, the pyramid principle flips the order of these slides. We lead with the answer. We need to stop the Apple Car project and go all in on AI. Then showcase the supporting arguments. Apple's strengths lie in software and hardware integration. We have no competitive advantage in EVs. The return on investment for EVs is unclear. And finally, present the data to back up these claims. The AI market is projected to be 10 times the size of the EV market. According to Hearn, it's fine to think from the bottom up, but if you want a clear and impactful presentation, you want to present from the top down. And with this, we wrap up today's video. Try using Vengage for free. Don't forget to follow us on social media, and I'll see you in the next one.